but it says, verse 7, the people of Israel were fruitful and increased greatly and multiplied and grew exceedingly strong so that the land was filled with them. This is, this is going to start off for us or continue on for us one of the very key biblical themes throughout the Bible, and that is the lineage of God's children, the righteous line, and the warfare they have with the devil's children or the seed of the serpent. Do you remember when God cursed Satan after the fall and he said the, the, the seed of the woman, the righteous line, is going to be in enmity with the, the unrighteous line, those who, those who serve you, the serpent, the serpentine blood type. And ultimately he was saying that there will be one from her who takes on the serpent and crushes his head, though it costs him his own blood. Nonetheless, we see this start unfolding here. The, the children of Israel start growing and... Mul- Every word that could have been used was used here. There's five phrases that are trying to tell you they made heaps of babies. They were, they were good, reformed Baptist, Presbyterian types. That's what they were, homeschoolers and everything. I had 12 of them. They were all named after people in the Old Testament because they were all old people in the Old Testament. But the joke goes on. Uh, <coughs> and it says here that, look at the phrases. They were fruitful and they increased greatly. And they multiplied, and they grew exceedingly strong, so that the land was filled with them. Five different phrases saying, in other words, they obeyed God's command. Did you know that it is God's command to every generation to make lots of babies and fill the earth with them? They knew what we're supposed to know, which Adam was told, and Noah was then reminded as well by God, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. The earth is made for us, not us for the earth. The earth is God's gift to us to be nurtured and grown and utilized. We are not God's gift to the earth to keep it and preserve it and uh, write love songs about it. They filled the earth as God had commanded them. Humans, you need to think of this, kids, noisy as they are, right? Children, annoying as you might find them. Uh, teenagers, I won't say anything about them. Uh, uh, young adults, whatever, your neighbor that you don't like, wherever you see a human being, you are seeing a an, an infinitely valuable being. You are seeing something that bears the image of the creator God, and therefore more people is always good. There's more images of God in the world to glorify him. And so they were being fruitful and multiplying, as was actually specifically promised to Abraham. So the whole human race has been commanded, be fruitful. But Abraham was specifically in his unfruitfulness, because he couldn't have a baby. He was specifically promised that God would make him a nation. And so as Israel was multiplying, we're seeing God's faithfulness leak through here. Genesis 12 verse 1, God spoke to Abraham and said, I will make you a great nation. In Genesis 15 verse 5, he says, Look towards the heaven, count the stars if you can. And then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. So here they are in their obedience to God's command and God in his faithfulness to Israel, they start multiplying like rabbits. 